So hey guys, what's up? It's Ray's back to YouTube video and in today's video what we're going to be talking about is how to fix lag, FPS drops, stutters and all those issues on Fortnite so you can have the best gameplay experience on Fortnite and also your windows will be a lot smoother as well and you can just squeeze the maximum performance out of your system after watching this video. Also, there is limited amount of tweaks that you can do. I can't just create a new tweak every day like that. Limited stuff and please do not expect uh, this video to give you like a 300 FPS if you're or just playing on 60 fps you might get 70 80 90 fps don't expect to go from 60 to like 300 400 fps now with that out of the way let's get straight into the video all right guys so we're back in the video now i have tested directx 11 12 performance mode a lot and i have come to the conclusion that performance mode is the best for everyone and if you are already playing on directx 11 or 12 i really recommend you guys to check out performance mode it's like a lot better if you try out performance mode you'll feel that the input lag is way low also if you even get the same fps on performance mode directx 12 or performance mode it just feels a lot better in performance mode i don't know why but yeah i, I capped my fps at 160 and i checked the game on every kind of rendering mode and for me like that 160 fps was really really smooth on performance mode uh it was smooth on directx 11 and 12 too but not as smooth as performance mode so yeah i really recommend you guys to just turn on performance mode by going into your settings and then just scrolling down turning on performance mode so now we're just gonna go over the other tips. Alright guys, so for this tweak, I'm gonna tell you guys how to use all your cores so you'll get the best performance out of your CPU. Well, what you have to do is just go over to your search bar and then type in msconfig. Now once you do that, it'll say system configuration. Just press on that. Alright guys, so once you're here, what you have to do is just go over to boot and then go over to advanced option. Now you'll see this. So now what you have to do is just press on the number of processors so once you press number of processor you'll see this and it will be set to one for you guys so what you have to do is just set it to the max possible so just if you have six set it to six if you have eight set it to eight if you have 12 like me to set it to 12 but make sure it's on the maximum number press ok and then you can just press apply press ok and then you can just restart your device and you'll be good to go all right guys so we're back in the video so what you have to do is just go to the link in the description and you'll be right here all right so what you have to do is just scroll down till you see this till you see F msi utility v3 what you have to do is just click on this and then you'll be right here all right so now just press download and then it will start downloading so as you can see it just downloaded so what you have to do once it's download is just press on the thing and also to be able to open the file you have to install winrar so if you don't have winrar just search it up download it if you don't know how just search it up on youtube but yeah once you install winrar you will be able to open the file you just download it so now what you have to do is just go to extract to and then you'll see this so now what you have to do is just extract it to whatever you want for me i'll extract it to my desktop you can do it as well so i'm going to press desktop press ok and then it will just extract it won't even take a second so once that's done what you have to do is just you can close this so now just go over to your desktop and then you will see this all right so once you're in your desktop you'll see this application now what you have to do is just right click on it and then press on run as administrator so what you have to do is just right click on it press on run as administrator press yes and then this will open all right so once you open the application you'll just have to find your graphics card so for me it's right here so i'm just gonna press it now let's listen to me carefully you can only do this tweak if in supported modes on your graphics card it says msi so as you can see on my graphics card it says msi on supported modes, so i can do this tweak if you if it doesn't say msi please do not do this tweak i'm not responsible for anything if you have msi on it you can do this tweak so what, what you have to do is you check the msi thing just check it and then again go to line based msi and then it will set be set to undefined just what you have to do is just set it to high you have to press apply and then you can close it and then you're done with the tweak all right so if you play on directx 11 in fortnite i'm going to show you guys a tweak that you can do which disables the full screen optimization so it will help you out a lot Alright, so what do you do? Well, what you have to do is just go in your file explorer and then go to wherever you install Fortnite. So for most of you guys, it will be on your C drive. So what you have to do is just go in your C drive or wherever you install Fortnite. So I installed it in my C drive. So once you're in your C drive or wherever you installed it, well, I'm going to go in my program files. You just have to go over to wherever Fortnite is. So for me, it's in program files. So now go over to Epic Games, go over to Fortnite and then go over to Fortnite game, then binaries, then 164 and then you'll be right here. So now what you have to do is just scroll down until you find Fortnite client. 
N64Shipping.exe. Four of these will look the same with the same icon, but you have to make sure it's the one which has the most size. So it is 181,000 kilobytes. So once, what do you have to do once you find it is just right click on it and then click on property. Now, once you're here, what you have to do is just go over to compatibility. All right, so once you're here, just check disable full screen optimization, go over to change high DPI settings, check on override high DPI scaling behavior, and then just turn it on, press OK, press apply, and then press OK. All right, so once that's done, just head over to your Windows button and then go over to settings. Now, once you're here, go over to system and then go over to the notifications. Now, turn all the notifications off. All right, so once that's done, just go back and then go over to app. All right, so once you're here, just head over to startup and then disable all the startup apps uh, that you don't need. If you need some apps, don't turn them off, but turn most of the use unuseful apps off. So once that's done, again, head over back, then go to gaming. So once you're in gaming, just turn game bar off. Captures, please turn it off. Now game mode, turn it off, but it might help you. So you turn it on and then see your performance in game. So find the difference, see what's best for you, and you'll be good to go. All right, so the next thing that you can do is just go over to your file explorer. Once that's done, go over to this PC, right click on it, click on properties. All right, so once that's done, head over to advanced system settings. All right, so once you click that, head over to advanced and then go over to performance, click on settings, and you'll be right here. So now just click on adjust for best performance and then check smooth edges of screen font. Click on apply and then wait for it to apply and just once that's done just click OK and you'll be good to go. But guys please be sure to turn on smooth edges of screen fonts as your text will look really bad if you don't turn it on but other stuff are just not needed and it just lowers a bit of performance. It's not a very high, it doesn't reduce a lot of performance but still it does reduce a bit of performance. So if you want good aesthetics don't turn it off but yeah for the best performance you should turn it off. Now press OK, press OK and you'll be good to go everything will be saved all right so this tweak helps you to lower your input delay increase your fps and also help you to get a less ram usage so you'll have free a lot of free memory it will help you with input lag and also it will help you with your fps so what do you have to do just click the link in the description download this application so just download it and then follow my steps all right guys so once you download it just open it up also, if it doesn't open for you, there will be like an icon right here next to your microphone and other st icons. So there will be an icon right here. Just double click on it and then the application will open. All right, guys. So once you open it, what you have to do is just set the free memory is lower than to your half of your memory. So if you have 16 gigs of RAM, set it to 8196. And if you have 8 gigs of RAM, set, set it to 4096. Or if you have less amount of RAM, just set it to half of your RAM. Once that's done, go over to one timer resolution and then set it to 0.5. Also check in every custom timer resolution. Once that's done, also check start ILSC, minimize, check that, and also check launch ILC. So once that's done, click on start, click on purge standby list, and it will purge the standby list. And so once that's done, you can just minimize it and it will just run in the background. It will help you to increase your FPS, lower your input delay, and all the other good stuff for you, and it will just increase your performance overall. All right, so we're back in the video. Now, first of all, I just want to tell you guys that you should use support or create a core ways to support me in the Fortnite I'm Shop. If you want to, if you don't want to, you, st you don't have to. But yeah, if you want to, you can do that if I ever help you to fix your FPS drop issues. So there was a new update to the performance mode, and I really recommend you guys to try out performance mode for the best performance possible. I don't know why, but performance mode is better for me than before. Be I wasn't using performance mode ever before, but now I'm using performance mode since it's way smoother. It wasn't that smooth for me last time but it's way smoother for me now also how to get the bubble wrap thing i have already made a video on it but if you don't know what you just have to do is just go over to your settings and then set the meshes to high and you can get the bubble wrap builds and if you set it to low you'll get the mobile builds so you can choose whatever you like and want so yeah for this update i really recommend you guys to use the performance mode rather than the direct x 11 and 12 mode since performance mode gives you way better fps way less input delay and the storm is way more visible than other rendering modes mode so yeah now let's just get over to the other thing all right all right we're back in the video now i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to update your nvidia graphics card drivers how to turn off in-game overlay to get the best fps possible this will only work for nvidia users so if you don't have an nvidia gpu you can just skip this step and you don't have to worry about anything just skip this step so what you have to do is just go in your search bar and then type in geforce experience now press enter and wait for the geforce experience to be opened now just wait for it to open all right so once you're here what you have to do is just go to your drivers and then Click press on check for updates. Now it says you have the latest GeForce game drive.
driver but for you you might not have it so please check for drivers if there's a new driver to install please install it and yeah it will give you better performance than what you're having but the thing is the latest driver won't give you the best performance for it you need to install a specific drivers there's like three specific drivers which you can install which are the best and you have to find out which one gives you the best performance now I'm not gonna go over that in this video but subscribe to the channel with notifications on because I'm gonna be uploading that next video so wait for that you're gonna use FPS boost from that but yeah just check for updates download the driver once that's done go over to your your settings once you're here uh, just go over to in-game overlay and if it's turned on turn it off if you use it don't turn it off but if you don't even use it then please turn it off because it takes a lot of uh, power it's not a, a huge amount but it's still like five to ten percent of performance so yeah turn it off if you want better performance and if you use it you shouldn't turn it off now let's just get into the other step all right in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to lower your ram usage so if you have like high ram usage and your fortnite is you know uh taking a lot of ram and there's not enough ram for fortnite well don't worry this uh, method will fix it so what you have to do is just go to the link in the description and you'll be right here now this is a software which you can use to get less memory usage so what you have to do is just click on the download thing and click on the setup.exe one wait for it to download let it download and once it downloads it will be on the bottom of your screen just press on it and then press on yes once that's done press next press next press next and then press install all right so we'll say completed now just press next and now check a run mem reduct and press finish also sorry if there's any background noise but yeah so if it says update just click on no and you will see this so now you can see my memory usage is actually 31 percent and my computer is using like five gigabytes of ram but once i click on clean memory press yes it just gave me two gigs of free memory and once i press that and i waited for a few seconds as you can see it gave me like two gigabytes of free memory all right so before you're launching fortnite just open up mem reduct and then press clean memory press yes and then it'll clean your memory and it will make you get the lowest ram usage possible so do that you'll be good to go you'll get less memory usage and also better performance on fortnite so what you have to do is just go over to your epic games launcher and then double click on it now just wait for it to open Alright guys, so once you're in Epic Games Launcher, just head over to Library and then go over to Fortnite. Now you'll see these three dots. Now what you have to do is just click on them and then go over to Options. Now uncheck the high resolution textures, press Apply and then it will delete the high resolution textures and Fortnite will take less storage. But you're asking me how am I going to optimize it? Well, I'm just going to be giving you guys tips on what you should do and where you should install Fortnite. Alright guys, so I really recommend you guys to install Fortnite on your SSD as SSDs are really faster than hard drives and you'll get a huge performance boost. It also decreases the stars so you'll be good to go. Just install it on your SSD and Fortnite is only 16 gigabytes, so you don't even need to worry about space. So if you only have a 128 gigabyte SSD as well, you can still install Fortnite because Fortnite is only 16 gigabytes if you uninstall the high resolution texture which I told you guys to do. Alright guys, so the next step is to go over to settings and then scroll down till you find this. Now, if you find Fortnite, just click on it and then you'll see this. Now, it will just click on additional command line argument. So once you check that, uh, if you see anything written in this box, please clear it. Uh, there's no need of it as Fortnite doesn't even support it. It doesn't even work these days. So don't. Alright guys, so now I'm going to teach you guys how to optimize your GPU for the best possible performance. So what you have to do is just go over to your search button and then type in graphics settings now press enter and you'll be right here all right guys so once you're here what do you have to do is just press on the browse button so now just go over where you install fortnite for me i installed it in my c drive so i'm just going into my c drive so c drive program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and then you'll be right here now just click on the fortnite client win64 shipping which is the most size one and then just double click on it and you'll see this now what you have to do is click on options and then just click on high performance and click on save and you'll be good to go you'll get fortnite the most priority and your gpu will be optimized all right guys so now i'm going to show you guys how to uh, optimize your graphics card for the best possible performance so this is only for nvidia users so if you have an nvidia gpu please follow this step so what do you have to do for the best performance possible out of your gpu well just right click on your desktop and then just go over to nvidia control panel please wait for it to open as it might take some time all right so once you open nvidia control panel you'll be right here now just copy all my settings so i turn off anti aliasing gamma correction so i'm just going to turn it off right now so once that's done again scroll down and you'll see this now open gl rendering gpu just set it from auto select to your graphics card 
You want Seston again, scroll down until you find power management mode. Now, once you're in power management mode, you set it from optimal power to prefer maximum performance. All right, so once that's done, again, go, uh, go over to prefer refresh rate and then set it to highest available and you'll be good to go. So now I'll just turn up texture quality, filtering quality to high performance. Now again, scroll down and if you if your vertical sync is on, turn it off and you'll be good to go. Press apply and these settings will be applied. Now, once that's done, go over to adjust image setting. All right, so once you're here, just check on this and then set it from quality. So if it's it's gonna be this for you guys, just slide from quality to performance. Once that's done, again, click on the use the advanced 3D settings, press apply and then you'll have the best possible nvidia control panel setting so yeah guys that's it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye